Hey there, this is Markus from FWSIM. In this video, we will explain how to plan and visualize shows with the Explo Waveflamer. This is a remarkable device. It features a moving head and uses inexpensive fuel. The Waveflamer can be controlled in a variety of ways. One, using the Explo firing system and predefined sequences. Two, using DMX and predefined sequences. Three, using DMX and manual control. In this mode you directly control the head movement without relying on the inbuilt sequences. 4. Finally, there is also an easy DMX mode with fewer channels. FWSIM supports 1 and 2, we will demonstrate both of them in this video. When you control a Waveflamer with the Explo system, the Waveflamer acts like a firing system module. Each pin in the firing system data represents a different sequence that can be played. To get started, we create a new show and load a Google Earth 3D location. Click on Device. A device setup window will open. We add three Waveflamer devices controlled via the Explo firing system. For each device, we select a different channel. Select the first device from the list, click OK and place several shots into the timeline. For each of these shots, we select a different sequence in the sidebar. We now have several sequences on the same device. To change the location of the device, move it in the 3D window or select a different position in the drop down menu. Now we want to replicate the same firing sequence on another device. Select all cues, copy and paste them below. Select them and click change device in the sidebar. You will now have the same sequences played on three different devices. There needs to be a certain pause between two sequences so the head can move to the new location. If you move two wave flame IQs too close together, FWSM will warn you. When you're done, export your show to the Explo system. You can load this data with the Explo Show Creator. You might want to control Explo Waveflamers with DMX data. Before doing that, you need to consider which firing system you are using. To generate DMX signals in the field, most of our users use pyrotechnic firing systems with included DMX capability. Others will use Lightning Control Desk, PC or other DMX playback systems. Please have a look at the data export page on our website, linked in the video description below. This list indicates which DMX playback systems are compatible with FWSIM. As we are making this video, the list is short, but it will grow over time. Is your system included in the list? Then go ahead and export the data. If your system is not included, please send us a message. Select your DMX capable firing system. Open the device setup window and create a Waveflamer. This time it shall be controlled via DMX. We create one queue with a sequence. Keep in mind that in DMX mode, the Waveflamer needs at least 10 seconds of warm up, therefore, avoid placing queues in the first 10 seconds of your show. When you're ready to export your show, use the export menu. To visualize the DMX data that is being sent, use the new option Export DMX Data to Excel. Let's look at the Excel file to better understand what is being sent. At 0 seconds, the device is set to armed. Then the head moves to the starting position for the sequence. Finally, the sequence is fired. And that's how you script wave flamers with FWSIM. FWSIM also supports other flame devices, including three headed devices and basic one channel flame jets. Click the link in the video description to learn more. 